Hi guys, out in the shop again today and I'm working on my girlfriend's cross track. Today we're going to change brake pads, front and rear. Uh, discs are in good shape, so it's just going to be pads for today. So I'm going to start with the front now. Alright, so I've got the car jacked up, I've got the wheel off. Now I'm going to take off the caliper. We've got two bolts in the back. If you've never taken one of these off, it's a 14 millimeter socket needed for this uh, bolt. Uh, so I'll take both of those off. I'm going to try the uh, little impact driver, see if that'll take it off. They're usually not too bad to get off, but uh, hopefully I don't need the big one because I may break the bolts. I'm going to take that off now. So I'm gonna pull off the caliper. I'm just gonna use a little piece of wire to hang it up here on the spring out of the way. All right, so we can see the pads here. And these should just pop right out. You can see these pads still had some life in them, but I think I have to replace the rear, so I'm just going to do both at the same time. That's one. Now I'm going to remove the old clips. Let me give it a little tap here. It should come out. All right, so we got the two of those out. Now I'm going to clean this area up because I want to make sure that the new clips will fit in really well into the caliper and there's a little bit of rust and corrosion and other crap that can get in there. So I'm just going to scrape it up lightly with my screwdriver just to make sure that the grooves are nice and clean. I'll try not to scuff up the rotor too much. So I just want to remove any bigger stuff that might be in there. So if these uh, clips don't sit in deep enough, um, the brake pads could stick. I want to make sure that they can slide real well. I'm just going to do the surface here because that clip does extend here. Again, just taking off a layer of rust and build up. Just the big loose stuff. In the back as well. All right, I'm just gonna hit that with a little wire brush to clean it up a little. All right, so that looks pretty good. Now while we have this out, we're just gonna pull out the slides and make sure that they're sliding real good. So there's a little, you can give them a little wiggle first, but there's a little rubber cap here that we can just kind of tug on, I don't know if you can see that, tug on it a little bit and then the slide should come out. So we're just gonna pull those out, look at the grease on it. Not too bad. Now there's some grease that's gonna come in the kit for the pads, so we could use a little bit of that. But I've got plenty of grease here. I'm going to uh, clean off this grease. I'm going to take my wire brush, get all of that rust out of uh, the area around the seal and uh, I'm gonna grease it back up and put it back in. All right, so I've got the first one all cleaned up with some high temp grease, and I'm just gonna slide it back in. 
and then give the cover a little tug again so that it sticks into that little groove. So now it's nice and sliding. You can see the bottom one here. It takes a little more pressure. Top one moves pretty nicely. All right, so I'm gonna do the bottom one and then put the uh, pads in. All right, so before I put the clips and new pads in, I'm just gonna give it a quick spray with brake cleaner. Okay, so today we're installing the uh, Bosch brake pads. Here we've got our new clips. Okay, so we want to put this clip in the same way that the other one came out. So you want to make sure that clip is sit in there as deep as possible. And just take a peek down around the rotor to make sure that it is not offset one way or the other where one of these uh, Metal tabs might rub against the rotor and cause, uh, you know, a wear line or noise that you you don't want. I've seen uh, some cheaper brands don't necessarily fit as good. These Bosch ones always fit real well. So everything's looking good there. Get that bottom one in now. I like to just put the front on first, press the back in. The bottom one is definitely easier. And I just give it a little tap with the screwdriver, set the back. and you really want these set in tight because these will put too much pressure on your pad and your pad may not retract off of the uh, disc and wear prematurely overheat your brakes. Okay, so now I need to apply some grease to the, all the sliding surfaces where the pads can move back and forth. So that'll be these points here that the pad will move in and out. And then also the back of the pad where they can move back and forth just a little behind the caliper and the pistons. So what I'm gonna do for this, you can just squirt it on. It comes in this little uh, pouch. There's different types of uh, pouches or uh, squeeze bottles, or you may have a, you know, a tub of this stuff or whatever. Uh, you can just squeeze it out, spread it around with your finger. I'm trying to keep my hands fairly clean so I don't get any grease on the, on the friction surface of the pad. Uh, so I like to use just a little paintbrush. I buy a ton of these little dollar store paintbrushes and they're handy around the garage. So I'm just going to throw a little bit of grease on the brush. And just kind of paint it in place. Try not to get it on the rotor. Of course, these little springs are also going to contact the pad and hold them in place. So a little grease on those too. Okay, so now we're ready for the pads. So it looks to be a little type of retaining clip in here, um, but there's all sorts out there. Now looking at this, I imagine this is going to push up into place, put some tension on, and then we'll hook the bottom in. So we'll give that a shot.
Well, it looks like those need a little bit of persuasion. That spring is really strong. So as you can see, I had to take a hammer and just give it a couple of light taps to really get it seated in there to swing the bottom in. And then I just sort of tapped a bit of an angle to get the, uh, the bottom up over that edge, tapped it in a bit, and then rubber hammer to really get it in there nice and deep. Now let's do it again on this side. Should be much easier since we can see better. All right, well, I've got those on there now, and I have to say, these are some of the tightest brake pads I've ever put in. Bosch, do not mess around. All right, so now that those are on, it's time for the caliper to go back on. First thing I'm gonna do is push the pistons back in, and then I'm going to lube up the back of these pads. I don't wanna lube it just yet, because as I push those back, rust and stuff are gonna fall off. I don't want that to stick to the uh, mating surface. So uh, first I'm going to take my wire brush out, I'm just going to brush the, uh, the side of those pistons, clean them up so they don't get stuck, then maybe spray some lubricant on them, and then uh, compress them. I'm just going to use a little C-clamp to push those back, then we'll put this back on. Okay, so we've got those pistons put back in. Everything's cleaned up there. Now it's time to lubricate the back of these pads. So like we did earlier, throw a little bit of grease on there. Spread it around. Same on the back. All right, so we're ready to put that caliper back on. Then tie it. Make sure you don't twist the line. Remember the way that you put it up there. I'm just going to push in the sliders, give us the most room. Just slide into place. All right, let's get the bolts. All right, so that's on there. You can see that floats real nice. Now I'm going to torque these bolts. If you've seen any of my videos before, you know that I consider uh, bolt torque very important. So I'm gonna look up the torque spec on these. I'm not 100% sure what it is. I need my phone to do that and I'm recording right now. So I'm just gonna stop the video for now. Look that up. Other than that, uh, we're pretty much done here. This just needs to be torqued. We're gonna put the wheel back on and then we're gonna jump onto the back one. All right, in case you're wondering, 19.9 foot-pounds, so 20 foot-pounds on my torque wrench. Mine isn't as precise as getting 0.1 foot-pounds. All right, let's get that wheel on, start the back. All right, so now we're on the back brakes here. And uh, similar back, we've got two bolts that are holding on the caliper, uh, 14 mil. So I'm gonna pull both of those out. Just using the little mini impact again with a little swivel so that we can actually reach that. Bottom one is a little stubborn. All right, let's pop this off. Tie it up with a piece of wire again. All right, so this is off. We're just gonna pop out these little pads. Back is much easier than the front. The pads are smaller and springs aren't nearly as strong. That one's out. This one's out. The clips here.
right? So again, we're just gonna clean up those grooves so the new clips can really seat in there nice and deep. Just gonna check those sliders again. Now these are work, moving a lot better than the front were. So I'm not even going to uh, take those out and grease them. Oh, those are feeling really good. All right, so next we're going to pop in those new brakes. Again with the clips. And again, we're going to apply some grease to all those surfaces that make contact with the pad. Just down here. Now, I guess you could apply this grease on the clips before you install them. Might be a little easier. All right, got our pads here. So in the back. So now we're going to clean out the uh, piston on the caliper and uh, push that back. Just cleaning all the dirt off of this uh, boot so that when it's compressed that there's nothing in there that might cause that uh, boot to get cut or scratch long term. All right, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of this grease and apply it to that piston. Just so when it goes back into the boot that it's lubricated. One of the main reasons you'll change a caliper is because that boot either tears or the uh, piston gets corroded and then it won't seal right and you get a little bit of a leak or the uh, caliper sticks So far these are still doing all right. So hopefully Changing these uh, pads early enough. We can get that piston back in the boot where it's protected and uh, we got it to last longer that it's going to slowly tighten the clamp allow the fluid to go back into the master cylinder we'll have to check the level in that cylinder um, later to be sure that it's not overflowing I'm not sure if as the uh, brakes wore that the previous owner would have topped up the fluid or not back now if you were doing a different uh, brand of brake caliper uh, some of them have a special tool you need to rotate the piston as you uh, push it back in um, you can buy those all over the place luckily this one doesn't have it they're a bit of a pain I'd much rather just use a clamp like this okay so now we're ready for a little more grease on the back of those pads and we can get that caliper back on. And torque these to 20 pounds as well. And that's it. Well, I'm gonna get the tire put on. This is it for this video. If you guys found this video helpful, I'd appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. And I'll see you in the next one.